hello and hi everybody welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing well so today is going to be a catch-up kind of like a roundabout the things have been happening that you may not know of i'll start off with my mom as you guys know she's been in the hospital for like two weeks now and she took a turn for the worse um she was having pains and they thought that she was having a heart attack and now she has a pneumonia so she's still in the hospital. She did not get transferred to her rehabilitation um, place that we had chosen for her. All that got canceled. Um, and so family is going there and spending time with her and uh, checking up on her every day. So that's a good thing. Um, me, hmm. I just came back from a dentist, yes, on a Sunday, because um, if you don't notice this part of my face is swollen it was even more swollen this morning come to find out i need to have this back tooth pulled i have an infection that's going all the way down to my roots and it's affected my main nerve here because i feel pain all the way from the front of my mouth up to the side of my head all the way into my ear so i need to have i need to have it pulled they said um, a root canal wouldn't make sense it would just fail uh, the tooth is just too far gone so I got a call around tomorrow to see if I could find a provider that will try to cover it. And hopefully somebody can see me and it won't make me wait too long. Um, I have some antibiotics here from before, which I'm taking some self-medicating. And, um, and I have some 600 milligrams ibuprofen that I'm taking as well. So that's that's helping but I am in a lot of pain. So I'm trying to tell you if it's not one thing, it's another, y'all. It really and truly is. Now I do have I do have an announcement to make. I do. Not this week, but sometime next week, I want to introduce a pantry challenge. And I want to invite everybody here to be a part of it. Now this pantry challenge. Um, it's not necessarily about trying to find deals to fill up your pantry, but rather to pick out um, foods, a shelf, uh, your freezer, your regular fridge, and try to go through what you have to make meals, to you know revamp some of your old recipes into something different with what you have, to get creative, and to see what you can do. Uh, sometimes we have to challenge ourselves that way and also it helps you with your budget definitely go out and get your fresh foods that you need that you can customize your meals with uh, fresh foods you know that's not something that stays good all week long unfortunately most fresh foods that we buy now only last a few days at best I'm not too sure why but that has been our experience so I'm looking forward to doing that challenge the way I'm going to be doing it with you guys is I'm going to pick a shelf. And what I'll probably do is show you everything that's on that shelf and see how much of it I can try to incorporate into meals or into recipes and see how well I can do with using everything off of a shelf. So I'm kind of excited about it. I really did want to start it this week. But since I need to get this taken care of and get this tooth pulled, um, I'm just not, I'm not feeling my best right now, but it's something that I wanted to do this week, but I'm going to push it until next week. So keep that in mind. Pantry challenge. You could do your freezer, work through your freezer, work through, you know, your shelf or work through your refrigerator or your, um, a pantry you know because sometimes we put things in a pantry and it's behind a door and we kind of like just forget what's in there unless we go in there constantly and then that going doing this will often help you refresh your memory about the things you actually use versus the things your family's just not interested in anymore and maybe reminding you that maybe you needed to buy some more staples and get those on a list for when you see them on sale you can pick them up now this evening, um, 
I released a video from um, miniatures.com. It was one of the mystery bags, so go check that out if you get a chance. And also, my Dollar Tree haul, my last Dollar Tree haul, it hasn't gotten a lot of good views. So if you guys can go, go check that one out for me, I'd appreciate it. I'd love to get those views up on that one. It's just not, it's not doing so well. It really isn't. And I'm not too sure why, but, you know, things like that happen. I do have a try-on for you guys for Shein Easy Wear. It's part of their um, line for plus size. And I a lot of the clothes that I share with you guys that I rock, that you guys compliment me on, like the really pretty butterfly shirts and what have you, those are from the Easy Wear line. Yeah. So I have clothes right here. I took it out the bag. And I just need to try them on and do it for you guys out there on the front porch where there's like some really good lighting. So I'm looking forward to that and some other things that I have, including an Avon haul because I did place an order from Avon. If you guys didn't know, I am an Avon independent consultant and I do have a website. You guys can go on there anytime you like, order anything 24 hours a day. I don't call. I don't bother. Even if you just come one time a year just to get your essentials that's what my website's there for so it'll be all listed down there below if you guys are interested and to remind you that today's the 28th okay so we only have i think what is it the so seventh month so we have how many days one two three okay so we have only until wednesday if you guys are interested in sensi i'm also independent sensi, sensi consultant they have the bring back my bars that are going to disappear at the end of the month. So if you wanted to place an order for them or put them into your club, your Sensi club or create a Sensi club, this is the time to do it. I remember Sensi club can be monthly, bi-monthly or quarterly. You choose how you want it and how much of what you'd like. It's all customizable and it's a wonderful way to get your favorites without having Sensi regret. Once these bring back my bars are gone, they are gone. I mean, they are gone. You're not going to see them again. So this is your chance to pick them up. And um, I also want to talk to you guys about something else. Were you guys interested? Do you remember when I used to do the pantry challenge? Um, when I used to buy foods and share with you the deals that I was able to find and how much they were. I know I've been sharing my grocery hauls with you guys. If you like grocery hauls, I have posted two already um, for Aldi's. Go check them out. It includes the prices so you can compare them within your region. Um, but if you want me to do that again, I can start incorporating a video for that for you guys. Let me know down below. What your thoughts? What your <laughs> can you even what your the what your thoughts are for that? Okay, and um, yeah, so that's what's going to be happening. Let me know how you feel about the pantry challenge for using what you have in your home and being creative with it and coming up with new ideas or revamping your old recipes. And also, if you like to see some deals of what I can find where in order to put some more items back after we use them okay so if you can keep me in your prayers so everything can get handled um also for my mother she's you know she's still in the hospital my mom's 83 years old and it just seems she went in there with c diff right and you know that's contagious she's had it for like two and a half months almost well two and a half months almost three months it's like she just couldn't kick it she couldn't kick it and she got so weak and she fell out of her bed. So her legs are all swollen too as well. They had to do two knee taps on both her knees to get fluid out while she was there at the hospital. And it's still not helping with her legs. Her legs are just huge. And now with the heart attack and the pneumonia, it just is like back to back to back. And like I said, she's 83. So she does have a weakened immune system. So if you can keep my mom in your purse, I appreciate it. So until later, you guys. Thank you. Bye.